Hello, my awesome and amazing Virgos. It's Mel the Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Today is Friday, May 5th of 2023. We are in the full moon in the sign of Scorpio. We have a lunar eclipse. So the energies are going to be, you know, kicking into high gear. So let's see what's going on with the overall energy dynamics calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and my Virgo subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Let's see here. Hmm, interesting. We have a five and a four, which brings us to the power of number nine. We could see your true major arcana card kick in with the hermit. You could be going through some form of deep seated reflection right now, Virgo, maybe trying to find again, the light at the end of the tunnel, putting one foot in front of the other, trusting in your intuition. Okay. For some of you, you could be feeling kind of alone right now, maybe just feeling you know, maybe in a pensive mood or just contemplating about where the rest of maybe 2023 is headed for you. Okay. Power of number six, we could see the lover's card kick in. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini and or a Cancerian born in the month of June. So yes, the lover's card may show up. However, picking up on the six of cups and also the six of swords, you may also be dealing with another Virgo or possibly a Libra born in the month of September. Power of number 12, we could see the Hanged Man card. There could be things that you feel are in flux and or suspension, or you're just trying to seek wisdom, clarity, and insight. Maybe thinking of some new ideas before taking action on anything, Virgo. Some of you could deal uh, straight up with a Pisces, possibly um, either a Sag or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Leo, picking up on Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January and or you may be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? So adding up the numbers uh, brings me to the power of number 27. Some of you also too, um, there could be an ending to an old karmic pattern or cycle or endings to certain things in family dynamics that need to come to a close because we have the world card. There could also be about social media platforms and or maybe possibly building a website. Some of you Virgos who are single could be out there in the dating world on like online dating websites or apps, etc. Maybe, you know, searching for your true love right now. Power of number seven out of the 27, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July for some of you. Okay. Power of number 27 for the beautiful star sign of Virgo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, <clears throat> and 27. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Virgo viewers and my Virgo subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please, at this time frame? What does Virgo need to know? Queen of Pentacles. 
yes, this could be a Virgo energy, male or female, doesn't matter. There could be something going on maybe with the mother figure. It could be about long-term committed partnerships. Maybe for some of you female Virgos, you are in fact a mother, okay? This could also be about your personal successes right now or you're building up momentum um, to have maybe a big payoff. You could be a type of Virgo that builds, you know, starts with a solid foundation and build your way up or you have a business that might be on the grow right now. Message from the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, the Emperor. You could be dealing straight up with an Aries right now. Um, this queen is kind of semi looking in that direction when the Emperor is looking in this direction. There could be a situation going on right now, Virgo, where maybe you are not seeing eye to eye in regards to a specific person. Okay. Because um, I have two people that are kind of in a sense back to back in a way. Okay, somebody's looking off. Somebody could also have a wandering eye. Okay, so somebody could also be a potential cheater or is a cheater. The Eight of Pentacles, it could very well be true. Whoever this Emperor energy is may want something to work out somewhere else. Um, there could be another connection that's going on. Um, maybe you, Virgo, want to see something work out with this energy of the emperor. This could also be about a potential business partnership or a business partnership that maybe you have a partner right now that business partner that's something here is not working out or not seeing eye to eye, flat out black and white. Let me go into, uh, I'm going to go into the Kipper deck. The main person, the main female, okay, that can be you. Great fortune, okay. This can also be, for some of you guys, just leveling up in business. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. There could be also growth or wealth or success, um, however, because this king and, or I'm sorry, because this queen and this emperor are not seen eye to eye, I don't know. I feel like somebody here may be trying to, somebody might be an opportunist or um, somebody's affections are not real because guess what? I really don't have any cup energy going on. So somebody could be trying to take advantage also too of a situation Maybe in regards to money, there could just be a heavy influence. Um, somebody could be trying to turn somebody against you, Virgo. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a thief. Somebody's trying to take advantage of a situation. Um, if this is a romantic connection, something's not right. Okay. Something's off. Somebody's being highly deceptive in a connection here. Let me go into, um, I'm going to go into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Somebody's got some sneaky behavior going on. Or somebody's intentions are not honorable. We need to let each other go. This could be about a friendship. It could be about a family, um, somebody who's in your family that could be toxic. This can also be a toxic lover. This can also have to do uh, maybe with children as well, but somebody wishes that they could take back their words.
clarifying the emperor. Somebody knew exactly what they were doing. So what I'm feeling here is that somebody is an opportunist and trying to take advantage of a situation. Mm, you speak to me through music. This is kind of interesting. Like, how would this even kind of, you know, come into play? Um, huh. The, the, the song I'm hearing is from the 70s. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. The backstabbers. There's a backstabber. And, you know, somebody could be trying to work out a situation or if they're trying to communicate with you, Virgo, they could be trying to do it through music, maybe send you songs in order to get you into some kind of, you know, lovey-dovey feeling, etc., um, let me dive a little bit more deeper into uh, the Kipper energy. Mm -hmm. Justice. Somebody is seeking justice. Somebody is seeking the truth. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's intentions are not honorable. The Ace of Wands, this could be somebody stealing some ideas. Maybe you have a great idea, Virgo. Somebody doesn't have your best interest at heart or taking advantage. Taking advantage of a money situation. There could also be a connection going on that's just based off of lust. The two of wands. It's like trying to gain some kind of new insight or vision, but I think somebody's intentions here are not honorable. Again, it could be a lover, it could be a friend, a family member. Somebody knows what they're doing. It's like they're very good at manipulating. Somebody's dealing with a narcissist. The Four of Wands. There could be a falsified promise of marriage or intentions for marriage, or there could be some cheating going on in a marriage or a committed partnership, but there's a judgment call. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Somebody's not using their best judgment in regards to something or someone Spirit is telling me <clears throat> somebody here has to think something through. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. There's a thief. This could be a coworker. This could be a coworker dynamic. This could also be, um, you know, obviously work environment situation or a boss figure. There could have been a falsified promise of like maybe a raise or a promotion, and it still hasn't come just yet, Virgo, in your direction. Or they pretend like they want to work things out with you. But there could just be, again, it's like no affirmative action. Because again, a queen looking away from an emperor. Emperor is looking. Is this emperor energy? Whoever this emperor is, if it's a specific person, are they, do they have a wandering eye? Yeah, they could be looking in a direction of another lover. Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Somebody is trying to slowly but surely walk away here from a situation to head towards this Queen of Cups. And it's so crazy as I was shuffling to figure out if this... This emperor, I get highly dizzy. 
and I'm still kind of dizzy right now. I mean, granted, yeah, I haven't quite eaten breakfast just yet, but I got like this whoosh, kind of like overwhelming headache that just kind of kicked in. Somebody's third eye is just not. Is not open. It's making me highly dizzy. Somebody's not seeing the truth. Or somebody is cre energetically creating he like headaches for someone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Nine of swords, you guys. Okay, so conflict five of wands like I said there could be conflict going on in family dynamics it could be a work environment situation there's a specific person that has a wandering eye so when we talk about queen of cups it could be male or female doesn't matter somebody this emperor is actually in truth grieving over this queen of cups and somebody here is falsifying feelings because the Queen of Cups is, look, the Queen of Cups is the only kind of emotional energy that I have going on here. It's like somebody's wanting to be with somebody else and somebody's falsifying feelings or making false promises of X, Y, and Z reasons to maybe have like long-term committed partnership that, that there's, there's a discrepancy because of this thief energy. So right now, Virgo, stand your ground. Okay? Put the energy back on you. Because you know, sometimes with the full moons, certain things get exposed. Truths can come to the surface. Okay? So, you know, if you feel like you need to energetically put up your walls of protection just to you know, protect your mental headspace, your heart space, your spirituality, okay? Protecting your energy. Somebody could be trying to turn somebody against you. Make the two of you not see eye to eye with you and somebody specific. So it could be like, I almost feel like this thief person, this deceptive person is the third party so I'm picking up that scenario. But somebody is grieving over the loss of a past connection as well. Or, or somebody has a wandering eye because they want to be with somebody else and unfortunately may not want to be with you. Okay? So wisdom and discernment, but there is a judgment call. Mm. Why would this emperor energy be grieving over someone else? What is this nine of swords? It, whatever it has to do with, it, it's about guilt, remorse, regret. Somebody feels guilty. Maybe guilty for having feelings for somebody else. Because maybe they feel like they're not with their true person. I don't know. Or you could feel this way, Virgo. Maybe the reason why you're looking in the other direction, possibly for some of you, is that maybe now certain things are coming to the light and having wisdom and discernment to make some certain judgment calls so that you are in your own happiness. Maybe you've been very unhappy for quite a while, Virgo, with, you know, certain dynamics, um, with family dynamics, situations. It could be friendships, lovers, people who have, you know, disappointed you before in the past. But I feel like with this thief card, that there's a flying monkey, basically. They could be trying, somebody could be trying to send flying monkeys in to, again, we saw the five of wands on the bottom of the deck to create some kind of havoc and or discord. So right now, maybe prayer, meditation, um, putting the energy back on you, being confident, Asking your trusted ancestors to put you on the path of least resistance, whatever it is that you feel that you're dealing with right now. But somebody is, there's a false person. 
there's a flying monkey <clears throat> in the mix. And somebody's intentions are, are somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ask your trusted ancestors to put you on the path of least resistance, to put you on the path, not just to happiness or the pursuit of happiness, but the pursuit of joy right now. Because it's like justice will be served. There's some form, Virgo, there's some form of a new beginning here for you because of this Ace of Wands. So maybe for a while, you know, focus in on what is in front of you. Because it almost feels like somebody here is taking advantage of a situation that's not good. Somebody is not, their intentions are not honorable. Again, a friend, a family member, a lover, okay? And somebody's got guilt. My beautiful Virgos, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, you guys, take care.